Hello YouTube, welcome one and all, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 with uh, very much... Uh... Ah, so yeah, you... Ah, right, so this is... You can still... Yeah, from there you can still um, do stuff. So yeah, we need to get our supplies up and running. We're going to do that as best as we possibly can. We need 515 heavy tanks. Hello, oh, and next month we're going to have another railgun. I don't see a problem with that. I kind of like that. Uh, you could probably... Yeah, you can't support these guys, though. Uh... Yeah, no, there's no there's no rail link. Like It's all on this side. It's too far away. Maybe here you could help there, but doubt it. Anyway, how close are we to claiming stuff in the Baltic? Ah, pretty close. Which we are going to do the first opportunity. Are they decisions afterwards? Claims on Poland, claims on the Baltic. Uh... There we go, we'll do that. Get the claims on those. Do we have political decisions? Send all the maiden. They have more planes in the... Uh... I don't want to see an instructional video. Uh... Oh, that's a thing. Warfighter. I want that down... Yeah, 300. You can go and get air superiority over that. And you. Into war. Ooh, we can have uh, strategic bombers. There we go. Lovely. Uh, you're going to be daylight only. You're going to be. No, cancel. You're going to be. Stuff. Lovely. Wonderful. Uh, actually, let's have a look at our air wings. Is anyone currently practicing? Second Vienna Award. A treaty has been signed at Vienna following the German arbitration that will see Northern Transylvania restored to Hungary, Hungarian rule. The territory has previously been awarded to the Kingdom of Romania upon conclusion of World War I, leading to a bitter dispute. Are these the first of many borders to be adjusted now that a new order seems to have been established in Europe? Yeah, we'll see how long this lasts. So Hungary gets that. We're going to get these. Don't worry. Anyway. Hello. Estonia submit, submits. Estonia has surrendered to our demands. We have uh, replaced this decadent government in Tallinn with a People's Parliament, which is only unanimously voted to convert Estonia into a Soviet Socialist Republic. After deliberations, the Supreme Soviet has decided to accept their request. Wonderful! You guys. Go over there. We're gonna ex and you to there. Lovely. We can send ultimatum to you. And now you're no longer. Uh, yeah, cool. Uh, 
The Treaty of Craiova. More concessions have been forced on the King of Romania, with Bulgaria reclaiming southern Do Dobrogea. Dida. I pronounced that wrong, I know I have. The territory was annexed by Romania in 1913 after the Second Balkan War and is still mostly populated by ethnic Bul Bulgarians and Turks. Regardless of the reasoning, the killed in Romania now stands significantly weakened. Of little concern. There we go. German units are over here, kind of worrying me now. Anyway. Resistance to occupation, yeah. Polish border, understandable. There are decisions available. I know, I'm waiting for a specific one. Where are we at the max? Yes, we are at max. Concentrated industry, lovely. Uh, yeah, get me that. Do I have another railgun? Construct. Oh, not production. No, 11th for June. Soon, we will have one. We will have another one. Yeah. Now it's all about getting production up and running. How many are we making? Norway has capitulated. The Norwegian government has gone into exile. Yep, in certain times. The Axis have taken over that. Uh, it's a good thing that that's there. But anyway, let us continue. Latvian military dictor, di dictorat submits. The Latve Latvian government in Riga has agreed to our demands and we have replaced their corrupt rule with the People's Assembly. This body has unanimously voted to request membership in our great union as a Soviet Socialist Republic. We have graciously ex ex agreed to fulfil this request. Lovely! We have three military factories. Um... Fixed strip structure, one man turret. I think it's a two man turret. T32A. That's a T32A. T thirty four. How do I build the T thirty four? We're already building those. Gonna start making some A twenties just for now. T sixty two. Put you head over there. There we go. Uh, division designer would need. Oh, non aggression pact has been cancelled with Turkey. Uh, oh, we still can't send the ultimatum. That gives us a building slot, but that's fine. So Lithuania is looking remarkably uh Yeah, 
you assigned to the oh, do you know what? Let's just give you an offensive line of this river. There we go. Oh, you. There we go. Go do that. Pretty sure 1941 is the uh, Operation Barbarossa, though. So that's. That should be good. Gives us time to try and uh, improve. Our situation here. Ooh, we built a sh we built a ship. Uh, production. There we go claims in that. Uh, we want another Kirov class, please. Oh, thank you. Just the one. Uh, Seeker, da, da, da. secure Leningrad. Yes, still at sixty one. Kingdom of Romania surrenders Bratisburg area. Excellent. Lovely. More stuff to us. We have three dockyards. I think uh, you. There we go. Ah, you get to join... Uh, so these guys, the Lewski fleet. There we go. Join those. Lovely, wonderful. How is how is that fleet, by the way? Now, what's it looking like? Uh, we still have. Well, it's only got. <clears throat> well, we can upgrade you. Yeah, we've got to upgrade you instantly into the Kira class, despite the fact that you were just literally built. But anyway. Uh, oh, I have another. Soviet Union claims Bessarabia. After massing forces along the Romanian border, we didn't, but anyway, uh, the Soviet Union has issued an ultimatum to the government of Bucharest for the immediate transfer of Bessarabia to their control. The region once belonged to the Russian Empire, which the Soviet Union sees as a significant legal ba basis for their demands. Romania has declared it has no choice but to accede, and its forces have been withdrawn from Bessarabia. Rightfully belongs to us. More importantly, ten more. How much are we getting you? 1.32. 10 more days. Yes, resistance to occupation. Yes, I know. Uh... Estonia is growing. Poland's growing. Yeah, we're going to need to do stuff about that. Oh, the country. Okay. Uh, we got you in 1940, so we'll get these. Nice bonuses. Also, we will now send an ultimatum. Wonderful. Make a we will make a uh, a a more of a what? okay you oh 
Oh, hold on. There we go. Are you going to go anywhere? Looks like you don't want another one. Okay, I will assign you to this army. Do you go anywhere? No. What about this army? There we go! That's a vulnerable position, but anyway. Uh... Lithuania still hasn't given me... Ah, there we go. Lithuania submits. Our requests for military bases in Lithuania have been granted, but unfortunately, their government has collapsed. We have established the People's Parliament in a, to avoid anarchy, and they have unanimously voted to petition the Supreme Soviet for membership in our union. This request has been granted. Wonderful! Okay, you guys are going to go and join there. This army is going to, just for now, cover our entire border with Germany. There you go. Bulgarian government supports the IMRO. Earlier today, the Bulgarian leader, Boris III, publicly announced that the government will seek to negotiate with Ivan Milolov, one of the most important chiefs in the International Macedonian Revolutionary Organization, as the cessation of hostilities between the IMRO and the Bulgarian authorities. According with the Minister of Interior Affairs, the Bulgaria needs to cooperate with this organization to liberate the many Bulgaria Macedonians living in Yugoslavia and the Kingdom of Greece. In a bold statement that will undoubtedly reignite the Balkan conflict and increase tension between the great powers that hold interest in that region. It seems like the Balkan conflict is going to reignite. Hmm. If you all guys want to... Yep. UK looks like it's perfectly fine defending itself. How are we doing? Italy seems to have been stopped at uh, Alexandria and is being forced back beyond El Alamein. There's a bit of a stalemate between these here. But it does look like Britain has taken Southern Sard has taken uh, Sardinia and is now looking for Corsica. No template. Uh, basic medium chassis. Yeah, I know. I need uh, more army experience. Uh, I want great empty armored battalions, mediums. Do I come back with for ten? Is it ten? I went with these guys. Maintenance, Armored Recon Company. Uh, that would all just slow them down. I think that's what I want. They're not there for defense. They're there to exploit or even to punch through. They're there to exploit... Um, any breakthroughs that, like, our heavy tanks will do. Which we may be getting our first unit very, very soon. How are we doing production-wise? We are making... 189.05 per day. Which is really good. 7.31 7 per day of support equipment. Artillery, we're, we're, we're good. We're golden. Basic medium tanks, making 1.25 a day. Uh, we are making one point. What do that? Uh, towed any tank. We need a lot of those, so we'll do that. Making loads of armored trains. We're gonna make 
another railway gone soon. Improved light chassis. We need 3,000 of you. We need a lot more trucks. So do that. We are stocked up on fighters. We're still making strategic bombers. Naval bombers we're making now. Into war bombers. We'll swap those to... Um, ground ground support once uh once we've finished researching that uh, now do i have something for finland that i do not however i may just have got it Mongolian border. So, that gives me organization. That gives me max entrenchment and defense, so do that. Um, actually, hold on. Yes, this is what I want, because we want to def I want to get these these sorted out before the Germans. Bulgaria joins the Axis. Early today, the German Reich and Bulgaria have issued a joint statement uh, that the latter has now been formally granted member status of the Axis. Whether this partnership will be used for offensive or defensive purposes remains to be seen, but undoubtedly extensive joint military planning is already underway. Yep, there's Bulgaria joining the Axis. I mean, granted, I'm gonna have to Okay, you are gonna go Okay, so we're starting to get new units, which is fantastic. You guys are going getting supplied. Great. You guys aren't, but it's fine, I think. It's because I think it's just the infrastructure. Finnish reject our demands. The Finnish government has rejected our demands, but this was met. This, this was expected. If we want Karelia, we will have to take it by force. It's time to teach the stubborn Finns a lesson they won't forget. Gains conquer war goal. We are now at war. Gyorki Zugov, begin operations. Vasilevsky, begin operations. Well, I don't have a commander for you. Uh, do I have a tank commander? I do know you're reckless. Do I have a tank commander? Do I have a tank commander? It does not look like I have a... Oh, I have a Stalinist. I could give it to him, but no. I will give it to Leonard Gorgov. There we go. Finland rejects Soviet demands. Soviet diplomats have presented an ultimatum to the government of Finland, demanding border adjustments in the region of Karelia. Despite a significant buildup of Soviet forces on the border, Helsinki has rejected these demands, stating that not a single foot of Finnish soil will be given willingly to the Russian aggressors. International observers fear a Soviet invasion may be imminent. Uh, yes. It's not imminent. It is happening right now. 
go. And go computing machine. Air wings not in production. Production. Uh, pause right. We pause now. Interwar bomber is now going to be changed to close air support. Yes, I don't mind losing. I don't mind losing eight days. Right. Okay. So 1940. We want that. We want. You know what? Forget that. And we want that. Right. Forward for the motherland. This is looking actually quite good. So you're going to head straight to Ripuri. See if you can hook around and uh, isolate these guys. Uh, oh, yeah, that's fine. Oh, there was a unit there. We broken through anywhere else? Not really. Ooh, join the yes, yes, Mongolia. Enter what? We have under the oh, hello. Uh, uh, yeah, join them. Yes. Uh, yeah, join that. Uh, recruit and deploy. Do you know what we can do? We can do... Do these at four at a time. These being done one at a time is fine. These being done four at a time. It's fine. These being done one at a time. It's fine. Because our production of those is not as good as the others. Doctrine's available. Lovely. Uh... War fighter, naval bomber. Ah, uh, we've only got two naval bombers. Stop, stop saying I can do stuff. Yeah, just head over that way. Let's see if we can cut the finish off. Uh, do they have any? No, they do not. You know what? You're going to run to here. You're going to threaten Helsinki. Oh, no, there's troops defending Helsinki. This unit's trying to stop us there, which is fine. Offer concessions. The war with Finland has been a costly affair, but as we have been able to push back the Finnish army, they have presented us with a compelling offer. We are to give in control of strategic important areas, but need to withdraw our troops to cease further hostilities. This will end our offensive in Finland without full control over the region, but will in turn allow us to focus on extending our sphere into the other parts of the world. I mean, we've won. But that is a lot of coastline that I do not want to defend. So yes, we will. We will. We will do that. Georgi Zukov, congratulations. We will stop all your plans. Uh, we will now have this army delete. Let's delete all these because we don't need them anymore. There we go. And that. Uh, you will be. Heading down to Romania. And you. Min. 
Hold on. Hold the phone. There we go. Wonderful. Oh. Italy declared war. Oh, hold on. I didn't know I unpaused it. Italy clay claims to the Greek territory. Citing the Roman Empire as a forerunner to the modern Italian state, Italy has claimed that an independent Greek state has no right to exist. Instead, the Greek territories must acknowledge Italian supremacy in the Aegean or have it seized by force. The Kingdom of Greece has denounced its claims as ludicrous. However, Italy has the Baxis backing of the Axis. Outrageous claims. So, Italy declares war on uh, Greece, which didn't go quite well for them in real life, but it may go okay for them here. In the meantime, my units are going to be busily running around. Lovely. That was a remarkably good thing. Also, uh, Move them to the Urials. Uh, yeah. Do that as well. Ooh, do I have a spare? Do I have a spare belt? I do not. Oh, you're being, uh, yeah, you're being re refitted. We have Voice Loft, the use of Curly, Early Heavy Ship. Yeah, the Kira of Class. It's all good. I mean, granted, you know, against the Germans' modern ships, we do not really have the manpower. Also, we are improved medium tank chassis. Uh... In October. Mm -hmm. I mean, we might as well get the stone book. Oh, it's because I've lost the. Uh... Oh yeah, do I have my katushkas? Also, do I have the T twenty fours? I do not. Okay. Ah, hello. You need to go round about here, and again, we're gonna give you. Five. In fact, I think I need to make more more of those. But that will be it for this video. A nice, quick, sharp war against the finish. Lovely. Wonderful. You guys are all still getting your support and memory. But that will be it for this video. A nice quick war. The war has well and truly kicked off. Britain is sta Britain stands alone. Greece looks like it's going to get completely invaded. We have uh, the African campaign pretty much going to and fro because I'm pretty sure Italy got all the way up to Alexandria and threatened Cairo, but now they've been pushed back. Spain won't join. Uh, how's the war? Oh dear. Um, yeah, that's not good. Not good at all. But anyway. 
that will be it for this video. We do need more units, I feel. The Germans are starting to... Yeah, but we are recruiting, which is good. I may move these guys once they've got enough troops to here and like split this half and half. That may be the plan. And that's the, the plan is to basically soak up the initial German attack. Or at least try to. Um, it's the one thing I seem to be okay at. <laughs> Soaking up that. So like placing my units and getting them ready to. Uh... Yeah, an artillery. When's our next artillery? When is our next wonderful artillery gun? 10th of January. We will have another artillery gun. Good. Nice little defensive bit here for everyone. German naval invasions would be very un very un unkind. By the way, do we... I don't think we know how many ships they've got. 24 to 37. How many ships have we got? Twenty-six subs. Don't really need subs, but anyway. Yeah, the Black Sea Fleet is going to be pre pretty. Uh... Do I stop them training? I think I have to, but we'll do that in another video. to 100 we are almost on par now with the max germans uh 82 to 132 uh where are we where's the bit that i can see regarding uh that one's at 43 percent Harsh quarters, forced labor, martial law. Yeah, I never get, I never figure out what to do. Return territory, return territory, release nation. Look at all these, look at all these. Holy moly. Soviet Union could really split into multitudes of things. But anyway, that will be it for this video. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I rambled on at the end of this video a little bit too long. But anyway, I hope to see you in the next ones when um, things are going to start be being put into motion. Stuff that I probably will not like. But that will be for next time. Till then, everyone. Toodles!